guys thanks for joining me today so i actually have a haul to share with you guys today i got my victoria's secret stuff so i did shop that sale where it was i think it was like five for 42 dollars but i had the extra 20 dollar off the 50 dollar reward so i definitely want to use that and it actually brought the products down to a pretty reasonable price and I really wanted to try out some of the daydream collection as well as that one natural scent that is the vanilla and macadamia nut one so I got a few of those and I think maybe some other things too I'm not sure I have this huge thing right here so it's like really big so this is actually a really big haul this is probably one of the biggest ones I've done in a while since I did have that coupon and they were having a sale I just wanted to get some stuff that I hadn't got already. And you guys know I don't live close to the stores or anything, so I have to get all my stuff shipped here. And it's basically like a first impression every time I unbox things because I can't go smell things in the store. So we're gonna unbox this together and then I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and then I'll go through all the products again and give you guys my first impressions. So if that sounds interesting, I would love if you stick around for this video. Also, if you do like content like this, I would definitely love for you to take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet because I do a lot of these kind of hauls plus I do other videos every week and I would love to have you as a subscriber so let's just go ahead and get into this all right guys so we are just going to unbox this so this might take a little while since they do usually have a lot of boxes inside of these bags because they wrap every product in boxes basically, which I do like how secure they ship like that, but it is kind of a hassle to open them all. So I don't know if I should do each one or not. I'm hoping the lighting's okay over here too. Okay, so the first thing, okay, so you guys probably didn't expect me to get this because I've said before that these don't really last very well in longevity, but I did decide to pick this one up. I really like the scent of this pink apple scent. It just smells so good to me. I go back and forth about apple scents, but I mostly like apple scents, but this one was really good in the lotion and I just really wanted this also to go with the tea sugar flur. I thought that would smell amazing. So we'll see if this longevity is any better than the other two hair and body mists that I have from Pink. I'm hoping that it is, but it's super pretty. I like how it looks and everything too. I just have found that the other ones that I've gotten in this don't really last very long. <laughs> okay, so next up we have this one. This one's from the Daydream collection and this is the Love Spell Daydream. I actually wasn't going to even get this but I ended up getting it because at a certain point it made sense to get more products than to pay for shipping so that's kind of what happened to me. And I just pulled out this thing. They send this like every single time, these like Hello Fresh things. I don't use them. Have you guys ever used Hello Fresh? Let me know in the comments. Next up is this Velvet Petals one. Usually my two favorite flankers are the Velvet Petals and also the Bare Vanilla. And in this collection, it looked pretty good too. 
Actually, in the past, I've kind of stayed away from these collections with the flankers, like of, you know, Love Spell, Bare Vanilla, Velvet Petals. I just thought, you know, it was kind of played out, but some of these are sounding really good. And I really loved the candied scents from last year, the winter collection last year. Those were really good. The Bare Vanilla candied from last year was just so good. And then you guys know I had to get this because I've been talking about it too. This is the vanilla bean and macadamia scent. And this is actually from their naturals collection. When they had the deal, the five for 42 or whatever, it actually included naturals as well. So you could fit, pick from that selection. The only thing with that is there are some products in the vanilla bean and macadamia scent that have glitter, I guess, in them or are shimmering. And I really am not a fan of that. I don't like how it feels on my skin and I don't really need that. All right. Next up is Bare Vanilla Daydream. These are super cute too, how they have the clouds on them. It just looks like super soft and I like it. So they gave another, oh, this was from the HelloFresh thing. And then they always send the DoorDash coupon thing too. They always send those two coupons, it seems like, with every order. Okay, so I have a lotion here. So this is the Vanilla Bean and Macadamia Lotion. This one actually didn't have glitter or shimmer, I believe. Hopefully. Hopefully it does not have any shimmer in it because it looked like the other products that they had. They had like a body oil and I think they had like a body butter and both those had shimmer in it. So I was sure to stay away from those. But this scent sounds like it could be amazing. All right, so this is the Pure Seduction Daydream. I've heard that this one smells really good. I usually don't get any flankers of Pure Seduction, but I saw so many reviews that just raved about the Pure Seduction scent in this Daydream scent that I really wanted to try it out. I do like the lotions, so I know I'm trying to like stay away from more lotions because I do want to try out other lotions, but I just really think that they really enhance the scent. They make it last so much longer for me, especially in the Victoria's Secret and Pink. Those I feel like need a lotion. Some Bath and Body Works scents, like you don't really need a lotion if they're really strong and um, they last a while. I mean, some of those you don't need to get lotions with, but a lot of these, these Victoria's Secret scents, I feel like they do need an additional like layer of scent. Okay, so we have another lotion. This is the Velvet Petals Daydream. I really hope that I like these guys. I got too much stuff. I got too much stuff and I'm hoping that I like everything. I think we're getting down to the bottom of it. So this is the Pure Seduction Daydream scent. I think this is the last thing, guys. Let's 
so this is the bare vanilla daydream lotion to go with the mist so super excited to try out all these scents i don't think there's anything left in here except for my receipt and also oh they sent something different Harry's. Okay. Well, I'm not really into that either. And then just my receipt. So I'm going to go ahead and get situated and sit back down in front of the camera. And then I will give you guys my first impressions on these scents. All right. So I'm back and we are going to go through these. I'm going to give you guys some first impressions. So I have not smelled any of these scents except for the pink apple one because i do have the lotion so i have been using this pink apple lotion and i've been loving it and that's why i picked up the pink apple product and that was actually my free product i wasn't able to use my free coupon on this daydream collection online i don't know what was up with that i tried to contact even customer service and they couldn't really like help me with that they said that i could do an order and then they could try to help me and i just wasn't going to do that if i couldn't use my coupon like i'm not going to order if I can't use my coupon. So I thought they could have just changed it and gave me a different promo code or something. I'm not going to do an order for full price and not be guaranteed that I can use that coupon. So I figured out that it seemed like it wasn't working on any of the Daydream products for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because like it's the newest line or something. Not sure, but I was not able to use my free product on the Daydream collection. So that's why I ended up with this pink apple mist. I, there wasn't really anything else I wanted in there. Like I looked and I couldn't really find much. And since I did really enjoy this pink apple scent, I thought I would just go ahead and try this. I do have like two other hair and body mists from Victoria's Secret Pink. They smell really good when you spray them out, but the longevity on them is just not good like it doesn't last at all but since i do have the lotion and i think that this lotion pairs really good with the tea sugar flare perfume which i picked up the full size actually i just did that unboxing and review so i will link that tea sugar flare video in the description if you guys do want to watch that but this pink apple scent from victoria's secret pink it goes so well with T's Sugar Fleur. To me, they just go hand in hand and this is like the perfect lotion to use with it. So I thought, why not amp it up a little bit, use some of this in my hair and see how it goes. Hopefully they've changed the longevity of this. So I don't actually have anything to spray this one on because these are really hard to spray in the cap since the cap is so little. This is an eight florid ounce bottle, but the way it's shaped makes it look smaller like this actually looks kind of like a six ounce bottle but it is an eight ounce bottle so the back just says feel delicious this fine mist spray helps make skin feel quenched and refreshed and yeah the pink apple scent is just so good it's like this sweet apple it's just a very very sweet apple scent and i'm all about it before we go any further, I do want to show you guys the prices that I was able to get these for. So I just wanted to let you guys know because you guys know I only shop on a sale. Like I will not go and buy these for full price. That's crazy because let's see this daydream collection. Oh, they don't have a price on here. So they're usually like almost $20, like 19 something. And I was able to get all of them for it looks like 617 to 618 and I don't know what that is that green thing I don't know it came like that I don't know if you guys can see this either but all of them are 617 or 618 and then I also got a free product as well so a really good deal I mean that's the lowest that I've really seen the Victoria's Secret beauty stuff go for is like six dollars so if I can get it for six dollars or under that is where I'm at and I was able to get free shipping like I said I actually had to add like one or two products on to get free shipping it ended up to be about the same price to like add a product or to get 
free shipping. So of course I want to add the product, like why wouldn't I get extra products and not pay for shipping? That doesn't even make sense. So, so that's why I ended up with so much stuff this time. I'm going to just use this paper to spray this one on since this is the only one with a really small cap. And hopefully I'll be able to smell it on here because I'm wearing a fragrance so I don't want to smell it or I don't want to spray it on myself because I am wearing a fragrance already and I don't want to have it mixed together really. So I'm just going to spray right on here. Okay. Like I said, this is hair and body mist. It does say it has hyaluronic acid and also vitamin B5 in here. So there are some good nutrients in there. It smells so good. So it smells just like the lotion. So it's like a really, really sweet, pink, fresh apple. Like super sweet though, like in the sun, sweet. So good. Like if you have had pink lady apples, like a really ripe, perfect pink lady apple, that is what this is giving. This pink apple is giving like ripe, delicious pink lady apples. And I'm so here for it. It smells so good. I just really hope that this lasts longer than the other ones that I have. I have the vanilla one and also the super berry scent in these hair and body mists. And so far, both of those really don't have much longevity at all. Like when I spray them in my hair, I can't smell them after like a half hour. So I'm really hoping this will have better longevity. I will let you guys know about all this stuff on Fragrance Friday. Once I actually use this stuff on my whole entire body, I will be able to give you guys a better opinion about this. Remember, this is just a first impressions video. These are just my first thoughts on these scents. So definitely watch the Fragrance Friday video to get more insight into like how I really feel about these products and the longevity and everything. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and your notification bell because I will definitely be going over these again. Okay, so now which one should we start with? Let's start with Love Spell. Where did it go? Okay. So let's start with Love Spell. This one I actually wasn't even going to get originally, but this was kind of one of those products that I added on at the end. So this one has clouds on it. They all pretty much have clouds on it, but there are little like raspberries in these clouds. I don't know if you guys can see that. I didn't notice that at first actually, but there's, yeah, these little like raspberries in the actual clouds. So that's kind of cute. I do like the colors on this one. It's like a pinkish purple. Love Spell is kind of a weird scent for me. I used to use Love Spell a lot in high school. Like I used it all the time in high school. So I got kind of burnt out from it and I haven't even picked it up as an adult, really. I haven't even had that one in my collection because I used it so much in high school. I kind of got turned off from it. And then I did recently pick up, well, not super recently. I picked up the Love Spell Candied, I think it was. And I wasn't the hugest fan of that one either. So that's kind of why this was the last one that I was going to add on. So it just says on the back, sparkling berries, jasmine musk, a delicate take on love spell. So you guys know how they kind of have sayings on these more than the actual notes, but it sounds like there's a berry and then a jasmine in here and a musk. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. I like how the Victoria's Secret mists spray out a lot better than the pink mist. I swear the pink mists just are like a line of spray in one spot, but usually Victoria's Secret mists kind of spray everywhere, which I do like that better about Victoria's Secret products versus pink. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised about this one. And now I'm like kind of thinking I should have got the lotion but now it's too late. This one actually reminds me of something. Okay, so you guys know the Midnight Bloom scent. I don't know if they still have that one right now or not, but this one reminds me of the Midnight Bloom smell, which kind of has like a 
cloud or like a Baccarat Rouge type scent to it. Almost like in the stars in a way. This one kind of gives me that. Yeah, it's definitely giving kind of like an in the stars kind of a Baccarat Rouge type family. So that definitely smells familiar to me because of that. That definitely smells kind of like something I have smelled before for sure. I do like it. I do like that scent profile. I wasn't really into In the Stars at first, but I really liked like Midnight Bloom and some of those scents. And I've recently been liking In the Stars, so I've been taking kind of a shift with my fragrances, although I will never give up my gourmands. Like that is my all-time favorite no matter what. And I'm really hoping that Bath & Body Works will bring out some more gourmands because Victoria's Secret has been killing it lately. Victoria's Secret and Pink have been having some really great scents come out. And I feel like Bath & Body Works, I mean, they've had a few, but nothing that has just really struck me like this is so great lately. Like I really want them to come out with some gourmand scents. Like the last ones that I really, really enjoyed, I think are the Blueberry Bundt Cake and also the pumpkin swirl cake because those are really good gourmands but I hope they kind of keep on with that trend and give us some gourmands for winter but it's not sounding the best so we'll see. Love Spell Daydream definitely gives me kind of those vibes so I don't know I mean it depends how the other ones smell I guess if I would have wished I got a lotion or not because if one of the other ones just smells awful of course, I would have wished that I got a lotion for this one. But yeah, this is the only one that I do not have a matching lotion for. So we'll see. I'll just pair it with, I don't know, something that I have around here. Okay, so let's do... I don't know which one to do next. Okay, let's try Velvet Petals Daydream. And this one I did get a lotion for. So the back just says, Airy Blooms Sweet Cream, a delicate take on velvet petals. So this one kind of sounds like it might be a little bit lectonic, which I do like lectonic scents. I kind of like those milky type scents. They actually just came out with that milk one from Bath & Body Works. I do really like that one as well. So let's give Velvet Petals Daydream a try. Ooh, so this smells, this smells really good. It kind of smells like Velvet Petals crossed with Bath & Body Works milk. So that's kind of what I'm getting. It's more of like a sweetened milk. So if you think of Bath & Body Works milk collection that came out, if you're familiar with that smell, it smells like that with like Velvet Petals Original crossed into it. So in reality, I probably could have just used my milk scent and also my Velvet Petals Original to create the same kind of scent because that's kind of what I'm getting. But I mean, I do like Velvet Petals. I do like the lectonic note in here. It is a nice scent. It's just... It's just that I think you could create this scent with other products that are out right now. So I mean, that kind of makes it not as original as some other products. I mean, the scent is good. It's a really nice scent. I will definitely wear this. And I do love Velvet Petals. I love the original and I have loved some flankers as well. Last year, I actually skipped the cashmere collection that came out in fall, like of all the flankers. And I actually kind of regretted that because I heard some of them were really good, but it was too late by the time that I came back around to even want those things. So that's another reason I want to grab this collection and try it out. This is really kind of a more like tonic, Velvet Petals. Velvet Petals actually has like a creaminess kind of in the scent already. So if you just amp up that creaminess, that's kind of what this gives, but it's like a little bit softer on the floral as well. 
I really like it, but like I said, it's not like super original or anything like that. You could definitely create this with like velvet petals and milk if you have those two in your collection. And I do have the lotion for it, but I don't think I'm going to test the lotion. I'll tell you guys how the lotion works and everything and more about the scent on Fragrance Friday. So definitely, you know, stay tuned for that. Let's smell the Bare Vanilla Daydream. So this one I was a little bit hesitant on and it's just because there's a sandalwood note in here. So for me, sandalwood can kind of go back and forth. I like a really well done sandalwood, but there are some sandalwoods that are a little bit too sharp for me. So this is Bare Vanilla Daydream and it looks like it has like a little vanilla flower on the bottom there. I forgot to look at the velvet petals one. So there's a little flower on velvet petals as well. If you guys can see that kind of mixed into the clouds, but there's a little like vanilla petal there. Okay. So the back of this one just says a fluffy vanilla, soft sandalwood, a delicate take on bare vanilla. Okay. So I usually like bare vanilla. I love the original and I really loved the candied version that came out last winter. That was by far like one of my favorite scents ever. I think it was kind of like a soft yet like candied bare vanilla. It was just so good. I have high hopes for this one. I'm hoping this one will be really good. Even though there's a sandalwood note in here, it says fluffy vanilla, soft sandalwood. So hopefully it's not a sharp, sandalwood note because those are the kind of notes that I don't like when sandalwood's really sharp but hopefully if it's soft enough that will be okay for me. I think all these scents are a little bit softer and that's kind of what Daydream the Daydream collection is is a little bit softer of a scent. Okay so I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. Ooh, this one's really good. So I do like this. Um, I don't get like a huge note of sandalwood at all. So I'm pretty much just getting a softer bare vanilla. That's what I feel like I'm getting from this one. So this one's definitely more of just a soft bare vanilla. So if you're familiar with the original bare vanilla scent, it's like that. But if you take out some of that cashmere note and make it softer that's kind of what you're left with is this kind of fluffy vanilla it almost like is giving a little bit of like marshmallow almost like a soft fluffy marshmallow okay but i'm liking this this is actually really good yeah this one's nice i do like this like I said, I do like a lot of the bare vanilla flankers, though. This is really nice. Yeah, I do really like that one. So I do have the lotion for that one as well. And I will give you guys an update once I wear these all. So definitely, you know, watch for that. But this is really good. I want to smell this one again. Yeah, this sandalwood almost scared me off from this. But this is really nice. I love this scent. So now we have the Vanilla Bean and Macadamia and then also the Pure Seduction left. So Pure Seduction, I was just hearing so much about the Pure Seduction scent. Like I don't usually get Pure Seduction flankers and I'm actually not even familiar with the Pure Seduction scent really. So I can't really be much help there. I just have never really been drawn toward it. But since everyone was saying this scent is so good and smells so good this year, I felt like I had to get this one. So this one is Pure Seduction Daydream. And the back just says plum sugar, white suede, a delicate take on Pure Seduction. And I do have the lotion here as well for this one. So let's go ahead and try this one out. My hopes are high for this one because so many people have said this one smells really good. So I'm going to let it dry for a sec. Okay. 
Okay. Um, this one's okay. So it's kind of soft. So I'm, Oh, I got it all over my hand. Whoops. Okay. So this one's really nice. It's really sweet. There's definitely like a sweetness to this, but then there's also like a really soft lightness to this. This is a nice scent. It's just very sweet. It almost like, it almost like gave me like a bubblegum vibe, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it's almost giving me a little bit of like bubblegum in here, but it says it's plum sugar and white suede. This one's actually really nice. I do like this one. Yeah, you guys, you're right. This one is really good. I do like this one. I'm going to have to see more about this one. This one's really soft. To me, this one almost comes off the softest out of all of these scents. So I'm definitely glad I got the lotion for this one. Yeah, this one's really nice. I do like that one. I just have a worry that it won't be very potent. So that's why I'm glad I did get the lotion. Um, I feel like this one's going to be really light. So hopefully paired with the lotion, it will kind of increase that scent for me because this is smelling good. It kind of makes me want to smell the original Pure Seduction, but I don't have that one. This smells really good though. I do really like this one. This one's really sweet. I mean, this one is, and it, it's kind of different. Like it's more different for me, but that's not to say it's not like the original Pure Seduction since I have never smelled that one. I don't know, but this one does smell just really good. It's like fruity and light and fluffy kind of at the same time. And it's almost like a candy. Like I said, like a bubble gum or like a candy, like it does not, smell like straight bubble gum. Don't get me wrong, but it's like reminding me of like a candy or a bubble gum or something um, mixed in here. So definitely glad I picked that one up. And now we just have the last one. So the last one is the vanilla bean and macadamia. And I think this is the one that I'm most excited for. Although I've never really tried a whole lot from the naturals line. The thing that I have tried the most from the naturals line are the scrubs. I've ended up adding some scrubs before when I needed more products to um, add to my order. So I have tried out some of the natural scrubs, but other than that, I really haven't tried out like the naturals in scent form. I did have a, um, what was it? It was the pomegranate and lotus, that natural scent. I had that in a leave-in hair conditioner and I still have that actually and I use it once in a while but not all the time it just depends so this vanilla bean and macadamia is indulge so it's called indulge I guess down there too and on the back it says indulge in the scent of vanilla bean and macadamia botanical inspiration lavish comfort so it sounds amazing and I believe this is the one that doesn't have any kind of shimmer in it. There are other products that they came out in this scent has shimmer to it. Like they had an oil and I really wanted to try that, but I didn't once I noticed there was shimmer in it. And I believe they have a body butter in it as well with a shimmer in it. So let's try this out. I'm really excited to try this. Since it's natural, I'm thinking it might be light. So that is another reason. I wanted to get the lotion for this one for sure. Okay, so this one is a little different than I was expecting. So it seems like not as gourmand as I was thinking it was going to be. I was thinking this was going to be super gourmand, but I think it's more nutty. It's not bad. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. This is just giving off like a strong nutty vibe. And it is a bit light. So I'm glad I picked up the lotion. Yeah, it's pretty light guys. So this is nutty. 
and it's kind of different than I expected. The vanilla bean doesn't really come through really strong. I'm mostly getting nuttiness and then like a little bit of creaminess. So it's like a nutty, creamy kind of scent, but it is very light. So keep in mind that it is light. You probably want to layer this scent if you want like the full scent experience. But that one's very light. I'm definitely going to have to give you guys an update on this one because right now just smelling it, it's smelling so light. Like it's almost fading in the cap just right away. So I don't know what's up with that, but I will let you guys know once I use these lotions as well and how long it lasted and everything. So let me know if you guys picked up any of the Daydream collection or the Vanilla Bean and Macadamia scent or anything else from over there as well. I've just been really finding a lot of scents at Victoria's Secret lately that have sounded really good. So I've been going there quite often lately probably a little bit too much but let me know what you are loving from victoria's secret and pink in the comments i would definitely love to know do you plan on picking any of this stuff up too let me know in the comments i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and again if you do enjoy content like this i would definitely love for you to take a moment and hit that subscribe button i love you guys so much i hope you have a beautiful day and i will see you in the next video